Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are in the middle of an episode. Okay, we are in the middle of a series. And in this series, we're talking about debunking a motivator's dangerous lie about work. What is this dangerous lie about work? If you've discovered your purpose, you'll never work another day in your life. Those are the things that we are trying to debunk and put down. And we're saying that work is not something that is necessarily negative. Work is not something that is undesirable, although the way it's been packaged for most of us, we do not want to work because it's undesirable. A, a study was done some years back and they found out that people in the United States of America, most heart attacks happen on a Monday. Why? Because people go to work where they hate. Okay, that's just my addition. But why would that be the case? Because our philosophies of work have been changed so much so that it is easy for me to motivate you and tell you find your purpose and don't work okay i know there's a lot to talk about that so let us stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. If you found your purpose, you will not work another day in your life. Why is that fundamentally wrong? It is inspirational, I agree. It is motivational, I agree. It is fundamentally wrong because it gives a connotation that work is negative. Work is bad. Work is undesirable. Work is not something that you're supposed to be doing. Of course, if you look at that statement from the motivational angle, it's talking about working where you are meant to work, working where you are calling, you, where your calling is. But the packaging of that statement is wrong. It is putting work in a negative perspective, in, in a negative angle. And we have been looking at the four elements of work in the previous two episodes. The first element is that you do not have to be paid for it. The second element is you love it to bits. The third element is that when you're doing it, it energizes you. And the fourth element is that it makes an impact. It makes a contribution into this world. The most unfortunate thing is that not just the hand cut pusher is the person that is trudging. Not just the guy who is struggling in the streets to make ends meet and get at least a meal. That, those are not the only people who are struggling. There are hundreds of thousands of people who are dressed in ties, driving cars, wearing suits, and they are toiling away uninspired. In fact, you might find that the handcart pusher is much more inspired than these guys. These guys have AC in their rooms, they have corner offices and windows overlooking the streets and so on, but they are uninspired in their work. I bet that this is why the motivational speaker will come and tell you, once you've discovered your purpose, you'll never work another day in your life. There are hundreds of thousands of people in ties and suits, and they're toiling away uninspired. We need to rethink our philosophy of work. And the, the, the consideration that we need to look at, another consideration we need to look at when, when that statement is mentioned, that once you've discovered your purpose, you'll never work another day in your life, the consideration is that people have a wrong philosophy about work in general terms. And I've been talking about this over and over again. People, listen to this, 
people wrongly think that work is a sentence you know like death sentence work is a sentence in fact people think work is a curse people go to the bible people go to the bible and quote a scripture and say that work is a curse they think that work is a punishment people think that work is a necessary evil it's something that i must do so that i can pay my rent I must do so that i can earn my bread something that i must do it's a necessary evil people think that work is a restrictive and unfortunate venture uncomfortable venture they think that work is devoid of fun this is very interesting work is devoid of fun work is devoid of fulfillment and work is devoid of freedom these are wrong philosophy of work people think that work is something that should be avoided if we must that's why the motivator will come and tell you once you've discovered your purpose you don't have to have to work people think that work is an eight to five office cubicle thing i am going to work <laughs> people think that work is something that you do you, you 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 go to a certain particular place to do it they think that work is transactional in that you've got to do something that gains you something and in fact that gain is priority that's why there are very few volunteers in religious institutions very few volunteers in corporate social responsibility efforts because people are approaching work from a transactional point of view you see when you have this kind of philosophy it becomes so easy for me to come and tell you discover your purpose and stop working and you say hey you mean yeah let me discover my purpose because i don't want to work why because you think it's a sentence it's a curse it's a punishment it's a necessary evil it's a restrictive it's uncomfortable it's a devoid of fun fulfillment and freedom it's something that should be avoided if we must it's an 8 to 5 it's something that i've got to go somewhere place some place so that i can be able to do it and i must gain from it that's why people will entice you with very many shiny objects pyramid schemes shortcuts and you will follow because you don't want to work you don't want to be in charge of the production of the gain that you want it's a very quotable quote you don't want to be in charge of the and in control of the production of the gain that you want what do you want to do you want to be in control of the input let me input this sit back and output comes so your input here is to discover your purpose and then sit back and <laughs> output comes is not going to work and quacks have discovered this thing so they dangle before you shiny objects something that quote unquote promises you a breakthrough without banking on your sweat on your work on your control on your supervision on your involvement and guess what that's why people get conned by their millions why because someone said at the end of this there is no work there is no work here and eh, this is a very dangerous thing they have dangled one thing for these people that are said are dressed in ties and have suits and are uninspired they have dangled for them something called retirement you know what the connotation of retirement is can you guess can you take a guess it means you're not going to work so people are so happy i'm going to retire at 55 i want to retire at 40 i want to make so much money so i can retire your philosophy of work is warped you want to run away from responsibility you want to run away from involving yourself in productivity you want to run away from being uncomfortable you want to run away from overseeing and let me tell you i see entrepreneurs i, I, I 
I was in the office a few weeks back, a few days back actually, with an 80-year-old, 70-year-old entrepreneur. The man is presenting a PowerPoint slide on some project or some idea that he thinks is going to revolutionize agriculture in the world. And he's 80. He's passionate about it. He's not thinking of retiring. He's not thinking of going home. He's dressed in a suit. He's making a presentation at 80. Someone cheated us about retirement, about our philosophy of work. Someone cheated us that work is laborious, is uncomfortable, should be avoided. We were born to work as human beings. We were born to be productive. And we have a very wrong philosophy about work. We have a philosophy that tells us that work is not desirable. Work is not something for the humans. Work is a punishment. It's a sentence. It's it's a curse. And that's why a motivator comes and says, discover your purpose and don't work. A a, a con work comes and tells you that once you put money in this thing, you're not going to work because money is just going to come. We call it, what what do we call it? Residual income? We call it... um, The other name. What's the other name? We call it... uh, I've forgotten the name. How can I forget the name? The money that's just coming by itself. I mean, you've put it's it's just being churned. People want that a lot. People want to sit back and just get residual income. They just want to sit back and get money without working. They don't want to work because their philosophy is warped. Work is something you love. Work is something you're passionate about. Work is something you don't necessarily have to be paid for. But work is something that creates an impact in this world. So don't you check out of life uh, because you're earning when you're sleeping. Bill Gates is earning when he's sleeping and they calculated his income per minute and per second. They calculated the income of Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi per second. How many dollars the man earns per second. It's incredible. But these guys are working. They are toiling. They love what they do. It's producing some things and so on and so forth. Anyway, I've got my thoughts mixed up. So tomorrow we're going to pick it up from there and continue discussing these things because I feel it is important. But until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.